Okay, so to go over vertebral testing, what I'm going to say before I do anything else, active seated vertebral testing is probably the only place you're really going to find out what the heck is happening with the vertebral column. People are going to tell you otherwise, they're going to have all kinds of fancy tests. It's probably not what they think it is. They'll find resistance to imparted motion, to overpressure, but they won't actually know what the heck the thing's doing because you're almost always short of actual range. There's a lot of reasons, either the table or the limitation of the person or the accessibility of leverage that you're just not going to get it. Okay, so uh, I want you to sit here so everybody can see something and face that way. Okay, so what you're going to see, sit up as tall as you can, stick your tummy forwards, bend backwards. Okay, now this is confusing, don't do that. That, <laughs> because that makes it look like way bigger, but this is extension, okay? Come back, tuck your chin to your chest, roll forwards bone by bone. That's flexion, okay, come back. Uh, I want you to put your arms behind your head, interlace your fingers, okay? Remember what you saw. He's helping me, don't do that. Right, like a lot of times you're gonna see this. This is not the same thing. This is not real extension. If I really want to know what the heck was happening, sit, sit as tall as you can, right? Now I can sort of get it. I'm close, okay? So what I want you to do is hold yourself here, bend backwards more. Did I get it? Nope. I didn't get it, okay? Come back down here, okay? Now obviously I'm on one side. I'm, I, you could call me off axis. This is flexion. I can do it because I don't have to lift them, right? It's not ideal. It's not, not the arms down. It's, it's not really what I want. You can do lots of other things. Um, face me. So people, you will find this. Some people will call this genie like most of you have never seen. I dream of genie, but it's like this, okay? There are different ways to do this hold. People will say this is good for vertebral testing and vertebral treatment. It is not necessarily really good in some ways for ribs it's very hard on shoulders you're going to be short of range okay so arm over arm little space between the knees come forwards hopefully this doesn't screw up the mic too much look I'm moving him really far but this isn't the extension that I would want now some people will tell you flexion sort of sort of but kind of hard I can't really see it I can't really feel it come back Okay, uh, face that way, my friend. So side bending and rotation, there's different holds. Side bending and rotation with passive are much better for treatment than they are for testing. As I said, active vertebral testing, they'll go as far as they can go. You can see it aside from quirky movement patterns. You can see it and you can, if you have your hands there, you can feel resistance. This is all resistance to motion. I can't really see what the heck is going on. Good body contact. I'm going to come in here, have my tummy on them. See, I can side bend them away from me without using my hands. I don't want to side bend them away from me. I want to side bend them towards me. So if I do this and then I come here, I can do that. Okay, so I can get some pretty good side bending. So if we compare this, just look where he is now. Right now, obviously, I'm kind of wiggling him over his pelvis. There's a glide. Come back. Bend to the right the best you can. Like I'm sort of getting it and I'm sort of not. It's a little different. I would be able to find decent resistance to the movement, but that's what probably the easiest way to passively test side bending is going to look like. I can do something like side bend them away with a different hold. Uh, put this arm on the other shoulder. <laughs> See, I don't really get it, right? Depending on his height, my height, the table height, it's tough but people will be convinced that this is the height of side bending. It's not bad, but it's harder on me. I have to do more work. If you compared the two that I did, which one felt more comfortable? The first one or the second one? The first, the first one, okay? It's just easier in a lot of ways. He's not as twisted, I'm not as twisted, I'm not doing as much effort. So side bending to your side with a good lean is probably the one that's gonna work the best. Now, for rotation, again, you can do it different ways. You can do that hold, but I won't cross your arms. Give yourself a hug. Uh, if you ever feel like telling a joke, give yourself a hug because somebody has to. <laughs> now, the problem is always going to be the table. The table is going to get in the way. 
So if you do this, some, sometimes people will suggest that you flip the person side to side over the table or have them straddle the table. Most people are going to feel at least a little uncomfortable straddling the table. The reason you straddle the table is to get the table out of the way or you can just change how you're moving, right? So I'm going to be here. I'm going to grab the opposite elbow. And in this case, I'll be able to walk. You see, because I'm on a corner, I kind of have to wiggle my feet. And then I'm going to end up having realistically... Oh, no, I don't. No, I got the resistance. You agree that's about as far as you want to go in my, like when I move yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, keep the hand, arms there. Twist to the, keep the arms there. Twist to the right the best you can. See, he can go farther. But I feel a resistance to the movement short of that. And he agreed with that. So active testing tells you more accurately what the heck is going on than passive testing. Now, when I put him into supine, so I'm going to ask this. The class doesn't have a mic. Let your arms down. It's starting to feel weird for me. If I put him in supine, am I meaningfully going to be able to test rotation to know what the heck is going on like that? The table is in the way, right? Prone? No. Prone, am I really going to be able to test passively extension? No, I'm not, right? I can't lift him like that and meaningfully do anything. Some, sometimes you'll have people off the end of the table, you'll grab them and reef them up, but you're working really hard. They feel like they're going to fall off the table or you're going to drag them off. Can I, touch, can I test passive flexion in prone? No, it's not possible. I can do overpressure, but if I'm right on midline on SPs, it's not going to feel good, right? It's quite tender in almost everybody. If the person's in supine, can I honestly test extension? No. Can I honestly really test flexion? No. Can I honestly really test rotation? No. I can do stuff that looks like it. So on your back with your head up here. Right. Sweet. So we can say uh, unilateral flexion for terminology sake. I can say I'm testing the flexion on one side. Am I testing the flexion? No. No. That's nowhere near, right? Uh, bend both knees. Right. Oh, I gotta kick my shoe off first. Now, I can use my eyes, but am I really testing flexion here? No, I'm testing if I can get, if I can jam his thighs <laughs> into his abdomen, right? That's not lumbar flexion. It's lots of leg movement with some movement of the vertebral column, right? Uh, I can find my shoe. Uh, like this, right? Yes. No. Like that's not, it's not going to give me information. I might find resistance. It might also be hard on the shoulders, okay? Uh, put this out. Am I really testing rotation? Right? This is hard on me. So it's all problems. Lumbar, or sorry, vertebral column testing, thoracolumbar region, seated active is most ideal. I can generate lots of motions that approximate the movement of those things, but the table's always going to get in the way. It's always going to be hard work. So if I really want to know what the heck the vertebral column is doing, seated active is the best. And you can see the difference between what he's, he will do, how far he will move, how far I can move him meaningfully in a way that's not too hard on me and is comfortable for him. If you look at the rotation, I can rotate him and I can find resistance. When I ask, the moment I ask him to rotate himself, he goes way farther. So there is a mismatch in these things. But if you really want to know what the heck is going on with the vertebral column, stick to seated. If you're testing it, go active. If you want to treat it, you can treat a lot of stuff in other positions. But you're going to find your information in seated. Right? That's just the most appropriate.